Well, it's another trip to Baboon Point Camp. It's May month and it's probably one of the best months to do a trip for sure fishing or actual spinning. So we've got a group of guys from KwaZulu Natal in South Africa that's driving up with us. Um, we've been on the road for I'd say almost 20 hours now and we are about two hours away from the Bull Point Lodge. So I'm traveling with Nico, Riyadh. Very Nico. excited. Yeah, and Nico is a keen angler. He's been here before and his target this week is to catch a big GT off the side. So that's what we're going to try and do. And so, and similar for the other guys, they've all been here before except Avalik. It's his first time here. My dad's also joining us in this group. So it's going to be a nice week. Uh, we're really hoping our conditions play along. It looks, the forecast looks good. And yeah, we will keep you guys up to date with what's happening and we'll film as much as possible and hopefully it's a nice exciting fishing action for you. Obviously, travel to the lodge is a big part of the whole trip. It's the guys that have been here, they're always excited. And even the guys that have been here before love the drive through the bush area. It's, it's stunning, beautiful African bush. So, yeah, um, as soon as um, the other boys went ahead, we went to camp slowly. The a little bit loaded. Um, Bring some supplies, a bit of timber and stuff for some maintenance work we've got to do. So we've just stopped here waiting for him to catch up and then we'll get him to stuff in the middle of So he should arrive now and something Nico is waiting for him while the other boys creep forward slowly. It's a slow drive and yeah, we are loaded to the top. Uh, vehicles are full, heavy, you can't rush anyway. Um, Literally two weeks of supplies from drinking water right through to every single thing we eat. So, fishing gear, uh, petrol, diesel, you name it, we've got it with us. So we, basically every trip we're very heavily loaded. And yeah, it's taxing to do this long drive, so loaded, so one's got to stop regularly, take a break, stretch the legs, and yeah. All right, so almost there, getting close to the lodge, you can see the sea there. So soon, soon, we'll be at the point lodge. Alright, it's um, an afternoon session and we are putting out some big baits. My dad slid a whole little bonnie and the other boys are putting out some big baits. So, see if we can look at uh, something big in the evening. Conditions are beautiful, seas flat. So, yeah, um, let's see what happens. Okay, Clive's getting a pool here. It's big bait. Look like a very big fish. Came off. Ah, uh, okay, interesting. This could be edible. Kuta type, something like that.
What bait have you got in here, Clive? Bonnie. Bonnie. Awesome. Flippin' car cob. Car cob. Job fish. <laughs> well done. Nice job, eh? Yeah. Awesome. These afternoon bait sessions are always nice. Um, it's right in front of the camp. Guys catch all sorts. From Kuta to Snook, GTs, Speckled Snapper, Stumpy, Matari, Trigger Fish. And then the bigger baits will get sharks and stuff. So, yeah, it's always awesome little session before dark. Bait fishing, live baits, and just building baits, throwing baits with that, with the bigger gear. We're doing a bit of bait fishing here, and uh, Richard landed a giant trigger. Oh. Oh, anyway, you it. Huh? Beautiful fish. On bait, awesome catch. Beautiful, well done.